some of the Islamist organizations they published a hit list to kill. So uh, they started killing. Basically, uh, this killing was uh, happening by Al Qaeda, Bangladesh. Uh, I see. So was also killing, but they are killing like not writers. Al Qaeda was killing writers, but they started as a joint uh, operation in Bangladesh. And total 2013 to 2016, a total 16 writers got killed, and last year another writer got killed. So my name was published on the hit list and. One of the things that I really love about working at City of Asylum is that I spend time every day with immigrants. And to me, that's one of the beautiful things about this country, and I like that I am a part of that. You know, I'm, I'm an immigrant. I'm adding to this country like everybody else who's moved here from somewhere else. The heart and soul of City of Asylum is really a writer sanctuary program. And um, we provide sanctuary to writers in exile who have been under threat of persecution and death. Public programs became a part of what we do to connect our writers to the community, the community to our writers, and to really be a place in Pittsburgh where international stories are told. Our writers find themselves in our program because they are suffering in their home countries and need a different set of circumstances so that they can recover from that experience, get back to writing and begin to put their lives back together. There are a whole lot of moments that I will never forget um, with this program and one of them was when Wan Shan first arrived, our first writer from China. He said he wanted to carve his poetry in the mountains flanking the rivers of Pittsburgh because he was so happy to be in a place where he could be a poet and wouldn't be repressed. I left Syria because of political reasons, because of a story of mine. It was entitled The Boot. I was talking in this story about how military boot can uh, destroy our life. When my friend published his, uh, this story in his newspaper, the Syrian intelligence called him and asked him about me. Where is, where is Osama al Omar? Where is he now? And I was really scared. People can disappear in Syria just like this. Uh, I, was, I was lucky. Poetry is my thing, what is very close to my heart or my brain. In 2001, uh, there's a coalition government in Bangladesh. Uh, they started persecution. So then uh, I, I figured poetry is not enough. And uh, I started writing a political column. So, and from that, uh, I never stopped. City of Asylum is the heart of international Pittsburgh. It's really nice to come to a place and work on being part of a global community. I'm so happy here. And, uh, actually, my life at City of Asylum was tipping point. I went back to myself as a writer now. That is the heartbeat of everything we do. If you can maintain your joy, whoever is the oppressor hasn't swished everything out of you.